Today on Running to Him, we will be reading Psalms 4 through 6. When I began writing these devotions almost 11 years ago, we would just read the Psalms on Sunday and concentrate on the hymns of the Old Testament. I'd like to go back to that tradition. So today we will read Psalms 4 through 6. And at the pace I'm projecting, we will go through every Psalm in 59 weeks. Psalm 4, title through verse 8. For the choir director on a stringed instruments, a psalm of David. Psalm 4, verse 1. Answer what I call, God of my righteousness. You have relieved me in my distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. O sons of men, how long will you honor become of your reproach? How long will you love what is worthless and aim at deception? Selah. But know that the Lord has set apart the godly man for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. Meditate in your heart upon your bed and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Who will show us any good? Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You will put gladness in my heart, more than any green and new wine abound. In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 5, for the choir director, for food accompaniment, a psalm of David. Psalm 5, verse 1, give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my groaning, heed the sound of my cry for help, my King and my God. For you I pray, in the morning, O Lord, you will hear my voice, in the morning I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor evil dwells with you. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes, and you hate all who do iniquity. You destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord abhors the man of bloodshed and deceit. But as for me, by your abundant loving kindness, I will enter your house, a holy temple. I will bow in reverence for you. O Lord, lead me in your righteousness because of my foes. Make your way straight before me. There is nothing reliable in what they say. Their inward part is destruction itself. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Hold them guilty, O God. By their own devices, let them fall. In the multitude of their transgressions, trust them out, for they are rebellious against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them who ever sing for joy. And may you shelter them, that those who love your name may exalt in you. For it is you who blesses the righteous man, O Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Psalm 6. For the choir director, with stringed instruments, upon an eight-string lyre. A psalm of David. Psalm 6, verse 1. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am pining away. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are dismayed, and my soul is greatly dismayed. But you, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, rescue my soul. Save me because of your loving kindness, for there is no mention of you in death. In Sheol, who will give you thanks? I am weary with my sighing. Every night I make my bed swim. I dissolve my couch with my tears. My eye has wasted away with grief. It has become old because of all my adversaries. Depart from me, all you who do inequity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord receives my prayer. All my enemies will be ashamed and greatly dismayed. They shall turn back. They will suddenly be ashamed. This ends today's reading. May you have a blessed Sunday. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.